The first thing that shocks anyone who studies modern air power is how a country that did not design or manufacture the F-35 ended up revealing some of its most critical combat secrets. The United States spent decades designing, testing, and building this fifth generation fighter, pouring billions into development, simulation, and theoretical missions. The jet was tested in controlled exercises across deserts, mountains, and oceans, yet no amount of simulation could replicate the unpredictability and intensity of real war. Israel, however, took the F-35 and flew it straight into hostile airspace under live fire. They pushed it further than any U.S. test had ever gone, exposing weaknesses, confirming strengths, and demonstrating capabilities in situations the original engineers had only imagined. The U.S. watched, learned, and documented lessons that could never have been derived from a lab. The data Israel collected, the insights they shared, and the outcomes they produced created a blueprint for what the F-35 could achieve when confronted with true combat stress. The exterior of the F-35 is sleek, almost understated, but every line, angle, and edge is purpose, built for stealth. Israel's operations confirmed that the jet's design allows it to slip past radar in heavily defended airspace, even when facing multiple layers of detection. Its low observable coating, carefully calculated angles, and minimal radar cross section perform exactly as intended, even in extreme heat, high winds, and sudden altitude changes. Israel flew the jet over desert landscapes, urban regions, and mountainous terrain, testing how the stealth surfaces handle dust, sand, and environmental stressors. The United States gained vital insights into maintenance intervals, coating durability, and how the aircraft performs in harsh, dynamic environments. These lessons would later influence how the U.S. deploys F-35s and schedules preventive maintenance. Inside, the cockpit is surprisingly minimalistic, but every element is designed to enhance pilot efficiency. Israel showed that a clean interior with intuitive touchscreen controls and an advanced helmet mounted display allows pilots to process large volumes of information without becoming overwhelmed. The interface transforms complex sensor data into actionable decisions in real time. During missions, Israeli pilots demonstrated that the cockpit layout reduces reaction times, improves target identification, and increases situational awareness. The United States realized that interior simplicity was not just a comfort feature. It directly contributes to survival and mission success under extreme conditions. The helmet, which displays targeting and threat information directly on the pilot's visor, was tested under combat pressure, revealing just how effective the human-machine interface is when milliseconds matter. Performance is where the F-35's true potential comes alive. Israel executed long-range missions, penetrating deep into heavily defended territories, striking multiple targets, and returning without detection. The aircraft demonstrated remarkable agility, acceleration, and climb capability, even when facing anti-aircraft systems designed to counter fifth-generation fighters. Sensor fusion, electronic warfare integration, and real-time battlefield awareness proved invaluable. The U.S. learned that in actual combat, the jet is capable of operations that far exceed what simulation suggested. Its ability to track multiple targets simultaneously, manage weapons systems, and coordinate with ground intelligence platforms makes it far more effective than older aircraft in complex missions. Combat experience revealed that the F-35 could replace entire squadrons of older fighters serving both reconnaissance and strike functions in a single sortie. Safety systems were validated in ways that no test could reproduce. Israel's pilots reported that the aircraft's automated defensive responses, radar warning, threat detection, and electronic countermeasures worked seamlessly under attack. The F-35 can detect incoming threats, jam radar, and maneuver to protect the pilot almost instantaneously. The United States gathered extensive data showing how the aircraft behaves under unpredictable conditions, providing a real-world assessment of survivability. These lessons influenced American strategy, highlighting that pilots could rely on the jet 
to enhance situational awareness while minimizing risk, and that electronic warfare capabilities are as critical as speed, stealth, and weapon systems. Unique selling points became evident through Israel's missions. Beyond stealth, the F-35 operates as a mobile command center, capable of gathering intelligence, coordinating drone swarms, and linking data across multiple platforms in real time. Israel treated the jet as both a weapon and a battlefield brain, using its sensors to guide unmanned assets, relay targeting information, and adapt strategies dynamically. The U.S. learned that its most advanced fighter was not just a platform for air to ground strikes. It could manage battlefield intelligence networks, integrate with other aircraft, and provide actionable data to commanders in the field. Combat missions revealed the depth of this capability, showing that a single F-35 can impact entire theater-level operations. The price of the aircraft, historically controversial, also gained context. At roughly 80 Zotto 100 million per jet, critics often questioned the expense. Israel demonstrated that a single F-35 can execute missions previously requiring multiple aircraft, reconnaissance platforms, and support units. In operational terms, it became clear that the jet is not just a fighter, but an integrated system that delivers unmatched efficiency and capability. The U.S. began to view cost not as a unit price, but as the value of having a comprehensive air dominance solution in one package, capable of replacing dozens of older jets while simultaneously providing intelligence, electronic warfare, and strike capabilities. The U.S. learned even more when Israel used the F-35 in real, time coordination with drones and ground intelligence units. The aircraft's data links allowed it to guide unmanned systems, provide targeting coordinates, and share battlefield awareness instantaneously. This integration revealed the potential of the F-35 to act as a central hub for modern warfare, capable of controlling a network of manned and unmanned assets. American analysts realized that integrating drones and sensors with fighter aircraft was no longer hypothetical. Israel proved it worked under combat stress. This changed long-term training, operational planning, and tactical doctrine for the United States. Another lesson came from operational tempo. Israel flew back to back missions with minimal downtime, testing how the aircraft systems responded to repeated high-intensity operations. They collected data on engine performance, software resilience, and sensor reliability under continuous stress. The U.S. used these insights to adjust maintenance cycles, improve operational readiness, and refine mission planning. Lessons from Israel showed that real-world usage accelerates understanding of both aircraft limits and capabilities far more quickly than simulations or training exercises ever could. Decision-making processes were refined based on how pilots used the F-35 in combat, the aircraft sensors displays, and automated threat assessment provide pilots with pre-analyzed data, allowing rapid tactical decisions. Israeli pilots demonstrated that trusting the aircraft system leads to faster, more accurate actions under pressure. The United States adapted pilot training to emphasize reliance on sensor fusion and automated threat prioritization rather than manual data assessment, enhancing overall combat effectiveness. Combat data confirmed that cognitive load is drastically reduced when the pilot's attention is focused on decision, making rather than raw information processing. Electronic warfare performance exceeded expectations. Israel used the F-35 to neutralize enemy radar, disrupt communications, and create confusion among opposing forces all without the aircraft being detected. This revealed capabilities previously unverified under simulated conditions. The U.S. observed that the F-35 can perform electronic strikes as part of normal operations, giving it a strategic advantage in modern conflict. This insight influenced new operational doctrines, emphasizing stealth plus electronic dominance as a combined approach. Leveraging the jet's integrated systems for battlefield control, Team integration lessons were critical. The F-35 acts as a networked leader, coordinating drones and manned aircraft, enhancing precision strikes, and sharing intelligence in real time. 
Israel demonstrated that the aircraft can operate as a command node, managing multiple systems simultaneously. The United States recognized that effective modern warfare requires not only individual jet performance, but also seamless interoperability, and Israel's experience confirmed the F-35 excels in this role. Pilot confidence and psychological readiness were also shaped by these lessons. Israeli pilots reported that flying the F-35 under real threat conditions created an unparalleled sense of control and situational awareness. The U.S. learned that confidence directly influences decision-making, reaction speed, and mission success. Real world combat demonstrated that the aircraft instills trust in its pilot and that this trust is as important as any hardware or software component. Ultimately, the shocking lesson for the U.S. was that the F-35's true potential can only be understood under real combat conditions. Israel provided data, tested limits, and verified capabilities in ways no simulator or controlled exercise could. Stealth survivability performance and battlefield intelligence were validated in live operations. The U.S. integrated these lessons to refine strategy, adjust training, improve system reliability, and fully exploit the F-35's role in modern air power. Israel showed that the aircraft is not just advanced, it is battle-tested, adaptable, and capable of shaping the future of aerial warfare. The evolution of air combat will continue to be influenced by these lessons. Pilots, engineers, and strategists now understand that a single aircraft, when properly used, can control the skies, coordinate multiple assets, and deliver decisive outcomes. Israel demonstrated that precision, intelligence integration, and real-world operational stress testing reveal capabilities no lab or simulation can match. The United States took this knowledge seriously, reshaping doctrine and redefining how modern air power is projected. The lessons learned ensure that the F-35 remains at the forefront of fighter technology, fully capable of meeting the challenges of tomorrow's battlefields.